Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk about why you'd need to register your kayak. And then I'm going to show you what you need to register. So stay tuned. So if you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and click the bell so you get notification of when I upload a new video. All right guys, so I'm gonna be talking about why you'd need to register your kayak. I'm gonna be speaking about two specific reasons of why you'd need to. The first one is uh, pretty common, and that's because you wanna put some kind of propulsion on the back of your kayak, like this uh, big speed jet. Um, in most states, you actually have to, as a requirement, register your kayak if you're gonna put any kind of propulsion on the back of it. I'm gonna be speaking specifically um, later on about how to register in Maryland, but um, just make sure you check your uh, local laws and regulations of wherever you live to uh, make sure you have all the um, information that you need to register your kayak. So um, just keep that in mind. But now I'm gonna talk about the second reason. And that second reason, um, it's actually not something that I actually thought about until I saw it come up in a um, post on a Facebook group that I'm on. Um, one of the guys on the group actually said, you know, you should register your kayak, you know, just so you can have it on record. And why would you want to have it on record? Uh, it's actually not the group, you know, a really good reason to talk about, but you know, you'd want to have your kayak on record. Um, God forbid, you know, if anything were to happen to you, if you were to fall off your kayak and you can't be get back to it and it floats away from you. Um, so you can't call for help or anything because you have nothing with you or hopefully you have your radio attached to you and you can call for help. But let's just say you don't and uh, your kayak floats away from you, it goes on shore, so a boat finds it. Um, you actually have your, you know, your boat numbers on it and it can be called in to, you know, the DNR, Coast Guard or whoever and they can actually find out who owns that kayak. And, you know, your loved ones can be notified as well, you know, God forbid if they can't find you or what have you. But yeah, it's not a really great reason, but it actually makes a whole lot of sense. Um, so that's the second reason of why you would want to register your kayak. So I'm going to be speaking about if you were to buy a brand new kayak. Um, it's a little bit different if you were to buy a used one. So you may want to check, you know, the differences of which documentation you're going to need. So um, I'm going to be speaking again specifically about buying a brand new kayak and registering it. Uh, the first thing that you are going to need is a bill of sale. Um, I bought my kayak from uh, Delaware Paddle Sports um, and they don't actually charge uh, sales tax in Delaware, um, but I'll talk about why that's important uh, a little bit later. So you'll need the bill of sale and then also you got to make sure you get from the dealer um, your manufacturer's statement of origin as well and make sure that it is notarized. Uh, the person at DNR made sure that uh, you know it was notarized. I gotta put that stamp or seal or whatever on it. So make sure that that's done as well. And then uh, what you're also going to need is the uh, application to fill out. So I'd have this application to fill it out and um, brought everything to the DNR up in uh, Annapolis, Maryland. They're actually located in the MBA. Uh, and brought everything and it was actually pretty seamless. There was no line. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about now the fees that I actually had to pay. Um, so here in Maryland, if you were to have bought your kayak in another state, which I bought it in Delaware, um, you actually have to pay a uh, a tax you pay pretty much it's uh what does it say here uh excise tax on net purchase price so although i paid no tax when i bought it in uh, delaware but now that i have to register it here in maryland i gotta pay tax on it so the cost of the 2019 is uh 27.99 and uh, the tax percentage is 5%, so it came out to 
And then there's also just the title fee that you have to pay, which is two bucks. So the total for registering it here in Maryland was uh, $141.95. Um, again, that's right now in 2019. It may change, you know, whenever you watch this video. But that was the cost, and that's actually everything you need. Um, the great thing. Uh, about um, registering here in Maryland is the fact that you actually don't have to pay the um, re-registration fees you know every two years like on my uh, 23 Maycraft pilot house I actually have to pay registration fees every two years because if you have any vessel that's under um, seven and a half horsepower you don't actually have to pay the fee at all and actually the the boat decal that I got actually says on it. It actually says uh, no fee vessel. So what the lady said at DNR is that, um, so this is good till December 31st of 2020. Uh, she said that on around November 2020, they'll send me the re-registration form. So she said to just fill it out, um, but don't uh, you know pay for anything and then send it back. And then they'll send me you know the new decal for that. So that's, um, you know, good to know that, you know, it's actually free, you know, just upfront, you have that cost of, you know, paying the tax and then also paying for that title fee of which I have here. So you actually walk out of the door, you know, with your title. So, but that is actually everything you need to register your kayak. And again, I'm talking about here in Maryland. So make sure you check your local laws and regulations of wherever you live. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and share. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.